If you have a Tesla Model Y and you're planning to do some towing, depending on what it is you're towing, having a trailer brake may be very important. Although regulations do vary from place to place, generally speaking, 3,000 pounds and above is required to have brakes on the trailer. Now there are plenty of trailers that are lighter that also have brakes, and if you do have brakes on your trailer, you might as well have a brake controller to be able to use that. It's a much safer way to travel with a trailer. Now, when we originally bought our Tesla Model Y, we had plans of towing. And at the time, a trailer hitch was not an option as we took delivery right at the beginning of April. Shortly thereafter, a trailer hitch was an option for a thousand bucks and we elected to go ahead and add the trailer hitch after the fact. So in fall of 2020, we added a trailer hitch to our Tesla Model Y. And to complement that, we did get a brake controller so that when we did tow our trailer, we had the ability to utilize those trailer brakes. So today I'm going to show you the brake controller that we purchased and how to install that. It is not just plug and play, but it's pretty close. The steps that you have to follow up front turn this into a plug and play later on down the road. So it's easy to remove and to put that trailer brake controller back into your car. So the brake controller that we purchased is the Takancha P3 and it does come with a color display as well as a manual lever to add gain for brakes. This brake controller is not the cheapest one on the market. It's also not the most expensive, but it is a very good brake controller and I highly recommend you consider this brake controller for your Tesla Model Y. So again, I'm going to show you how to install this, how to wire it up, and some recommendations along the way of how to make this easier for the next time that you tow. So like I said, our car did not come with a trailer hitch and trailer hitches were not an option. However, I can confirm that Tesla Model Ys do have the required plug for you to add a trailer brake controller. This is really great news because I was very concerned that because we didn't have the hitch option, we wouldn't be able to add this controller, at least not as straightforward as it turned out to be. I'll show you where that's at and how to use it, as well as the necessary wiring that you're going to need to add for your brake controller. The P3 brake controller does not have a wiring harness option for a Tesla, unfortunately. Because of this, you're just going to utilize the basic wire harness that comes with the P3 brake controller. This is going to leave you with four wires that need to be connected to something, and I will show you what that something is. So the brake controller comes with a few things. Of course, it comes with the controller, but it comes with a harness, and this harness has four wires. The brake controller itself comes with manual gain on the bottom, which is nice, various brackets, but you do need to note that the controller can tilt up or down, but it must be straight side to side. So when you're mounting this, you need to make sure it is on a surface as flat as possible from side to side. I do recommend going ahead and getting some Velcro strips for the mounting bracket so that rather than screwing these in and putting holes in the bottom of your dash, you can remove this and put it back on as needed. Now the next thing that you must get, unfortunately does not show up as a Model Y part number, at least yet. Hopefully in the future, this will also include the Tesla Model Y. This is important because when you talk to your service center to order this part, you may encounter some pushback on getting this. I don't know why that is. In our case, it was straightforward. We didn't have any issues. But here's what you need. This wiring harness is from a Model X. It's part number 107-2586-00A. If you do add the trailer hitch, just ask Tesla about this wiring harness. You do need this to plug into the factory wiring harness on your Tesla to be able to connect that brake controller. They also do provide some wiring crimps. I do not recommend using these. Instead, we're going to use push-in wire connectors. They are much easier and short of soldering. These are a little bit more secure in my opinion. You will notice that the wire colors on both the Tesla harness and the P3 harness are the same colors. Be careful here, these colors do not match correctly. You do not just connect the colors to colors with the exception of blue. From the Tesla wiring harness, unfortunately only two of these were labeled 
and that was the red which stated it was battery and the blue that said it was the trailer brake. That blue trailer brake wire is the same wire that you're going to connect to the blue P3 connector. I'm going to show you how to wire this up and make this straightforward and simple so you don't have to look at the wiring diagrams to figure this out on your own. Pretty straightforward. Looking at the screen on the left hand side is the Tesla wiring harness and on the right hand side is the wiring harness from the P3. Left is Tesla, right is P3. You're going to connect the Tesla red to the P3 black. You're going to connect the blue to blue, as I said. You're going to connect the Tesla black wire to the P3 white wire. And then finally, you're going to connect the Tesla white wire to the P3 red wire. Pretty straightforward. This is the color combination to set this up, at least at the time of this filming. So now let's go get into the car and show you how to plug this thing in. Here under the dash on the driver's side, there is a panel. It is foam behind the carpet and you're going to just reach in there and start to pull this back. It's going to be very tight and difficult to pull out. But once you do, when you look really deep down, you can see the connector that we're looking for. And it's just sitting here, there's no cover on it. It's just right there at the bottom. It is going to be a very tight fit in here, but you can get to it. So what you're going to do is take the connector from the Tesla wiring harness and reach in there with that and push it into this connector. That connector is sitting there. It's not loose. It's actually connected to a white plastic wall there on the side that you can see. So it holds steady as you push this connector in until it clicks. And then you're going to have some extra wires here. So go ahead and coil this up in zip tie. You do not want too much extra wire sitting out. So you can hide a lot of this by zip tying it together. Next, go ahead and look underneath your dashboard. On the far left, there's a more shiny color plastic here. This is a pretty flat surface and this is where we mounted ours. Go ahead and mount your Velcro bracket to this black piece of plastic. So again, because we used Velcro, you can easily remove this when not using and you can just leave the plug there. Now, moving forward, this is plug and play. Just Velcro attach your brake controller in the future and grab that plug and plug it into the back of the controller. No more work to do moving forward. As you're looking at adding a brake controller, it's important that you get a good quality brake controller and also one that's going to be easy to use. This brake controller worked really well for us as we towed a very large trailer recently and we will continue to use this as we do towing in the future. For those of you that are thinking about towing, I hope that this video was helpful. If you haven't already, we'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Thanks so much for stopping by and we'll catch you next time.